Hello, Star Munchers. Max here, back playing Monument Valley. A uh, lot has changed since the last time I played this game. Uh, I have a new setup I'm working with. My buddy Zach and my younger brother did some maneuvering. We have a second screen now, so I can actually pay attention to what OBS is doing while I'm recording, instead of discovering that it did something funky after the fact. It's also super bright outside, so I had to hang up one of my blankets up behind me so you're not blinded. Um, but uh, I just wanted to hop back into Monument Valley and play a little bit more. I've been dying to get back into this game. Uh, just because uh, I remember playing it... Uh, hold on. In which Ida meets the totem, a friend, the labyrinth. Ooh, this one looks creepy. Um, I remember playing this in the App Store and absolutely loving every minute of it. So I was super excited to get back into it. You know what? I think I have a faint memory of this thing. So this is called a totem? Interesting. So I can move you this way. What's with this? Maybe it gets covered over at some point? Interesting. Also, what's really interesting is that, like, in doing research for the game, like, trying to figure out how long it would take to beat the game, um, when you look up Monument Valley, apparently there's an actual place, I think it's Navajo. I could be absolutely wrong about that, and if I am, I apologize. But I think it's an actual geographical area, which is just interesting. I don't think there's any correlation to that, but it's kind of interesting when you look up Monument Valley that a couple different things show up, and one of the first things is the actual place, not the game. All right, we'll move you over here. Oh, this will be fun. Step on that. There we go. I'm so glad that they decided to make a panoramic, like, panoramic edition. I'm sure I said this a lot in the first episode. Like, it's just so cool that they decided to expand what was there. Because I loved the game even when it was just on the phone. And there was a, a limited amount that you could actually see of the game. Oh, no, that's interesting. Oh, I see, I see. Hold on. Let's move you onto this first and then step on this. Okay. So now if we walk up here... Or wait a second, do we have to lift you onto a different plane? There we go. Now you're up here. Okay. So we should be able to walk over there and then use this guy get us to the button, at least I think. Move you here. Oh, maybe just across to here. Oh, it does something else. More buttons. Aha. There you go. That's such a cool, like, um... Okay, so this is why they had multiple and had them on the side. It's such a cool mechanic. It's... I just love how outside the box this game is, you know? It's just super cool. Also, just like any singular screenshot from this game would just be a... Whoa. Almost knocked my water over on my new setup. Would be just an amazing, uh, like, wallpaper. We're gonna call the totem Totes Magoats because I can't think of anything else to call him. I don't just, I don't want to call him just the totem. This is Totes Magoats. He's got a big old eye. All right. I don't even know where Ida went. Okay, so we got one of the little hand turnies. Whoa. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, first of all, we need to store Totes and Goats over here for now, and then move him so we can get up there. I need to actually do more research into who did, like, the sound design and the music for this, because it's just phenomenal. It really adds a lot. Okay. We step over here now. And then we move you. We can get to this. Whoa. 
like just uh, like level level design just regular level design is difficult enough in my in my brain to my thinking that's already a challenge okay hold on we need to rotate you so that way totes my goats can go here so we can flip him up and move him over here very nice very nice Another benefit of having two screens is now I don't have to look at my phone to see how long I've been recording. I can actually just look down and see how long OBS has been going, which is nice. Okay. Okay. Well, let's move you. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, we're good. <laughs> okay. Totes my goats can go over here. We step on here. Oh, we can't actually... Well, now that's interesting. Nope, that doesn't. Aha! Aha! Okay. So, how do I get on top of you? Interesting. This one's going to take a little bit more thought process. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. <laughs> I totally meant to do that. Obviously. Okay, now we slide you over here. Off we go, and hit the button. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is something that I was completely oblivious to the first time I played this on my phone, is that the actual story seems from the onset like Ida was strolling through these ruins and started swiping, I guess, relics, like precious items. Like this picture right here shows all of these people, like, I guess, worshipping these geometrical shape type dealies that Ida keeps taking out of her hat and putting back where they belong. Um, that seems to be the story. I don't know that for certain, but that seems like that might be what the game is going for. Okay, what happens if we stand on top of you and this guy can then... Oh, no, you can't be moved anymore. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. If we move here, step off, move you, move you back this way. Nope, 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 not you. Go back. So I would need to drop back down, which is not possible at the moment. Do I need to do the same thing again? How do I get you up here? Here, what happens if we do this? Here we go. Well, no, we already did that. Because this thing goes away when we try and do that. Okay. Hmm. Do we need to do the same thing that we did before? Which is move you over here. And step on you just fine. It's the fact that the little turny thing goes away when we do that. So, how do we do this? Okay, <laughs> you're here. Now, how do I? This is interesting. This one's a bit of a thinker. Okay, move you, move you.
Hmm. I need to get there, right? So that way I could hop on top and then we go this way. But how do I get there? That is the question. Okay, well, let's put you back. where I need to like join back with it after it's already been rotated oh ho hold on here we go if I do this it comes over here now okay that took me a minute <laughs> took me a second and then we should be able to oh, do that first raise you all the way up over and in Woo! <laughs> that one took me a little bit longer than it should have oh See, oh, I need more of games like this that just, like, I don't know. They have a very clear artistic voice, and that voice is different. I can't think of any other game, at least at the time when this game was released, that was anything like this, which is just super cool. All right. So this is the kind of thing I'm talking about, where Ida has these... Remember that star shapey looking thing that we saw in the illustration? So I think she's returning these objects. I think she stole them. Or moved them, and they shouldn't have been. I think we got sort of some of those details from the ghost guy. I Did he call us a thief? I think he called us a thief. Oh, this is super cool. Whoa. Oh, totes my goats. No, be careful! Oh, good. He's fine. He can swim, I guess. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> Wilson! Wilson! Yikes. I did not remember that. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. What are we at? 13 minutes? That one took a little bit longer. But I think we could do at least one more. So I looked ahead. I think there are 19 um, levels in total. And we are on what? Six? Oh, the rookery. Or no, we're on seven. In which a throne lies vacant. Interesting. All right. Are we in here? Where are we? Oh, we're not even there yet. We gotta get this rook to travel a certain path. Interesting. Okay, nope. There we go. I need you to hit the button for me, pal. There we go. There we are. Okay. So I'm assuming we could do sort of the opposite, right? I really tried to mess with the sound settings to make sure that, like, the in-game noises aren't too loud. Because if, uh, if it was as loud as that is sometimes, it'd be really obnoxious. Ooh. Touch the button. Okay, you're stuck there. Okay, we step on there. Oh, I see, I see. We need him to hit multiple of these buttons for us. That's the gist I'm getting. Okay, let's move you back over here, see what that does. Okay. 
Okay, keep rotating. Okay. There we go. So if we go over here, we should be able to walk right off of this. Touch this. Oh, so pretty. Okay, hold on. Slow your roll there, chief. Should just be able to ride this all the way to the end, I think. Is this like an optional thing? Or was I supposed to... What if you do this? Where does that go? I don't know. I don't know if they actually changed the level or if it was just... If that was a secret, I apologize. Um. Okay. Let's hit the button, see what it does. Is that a time-sensitive thing? Oh, you little punk. You little punk. Nope, you're blocked. You little twerp. That's right. <laughs> nice try, though. Okay, we're back down. Where does this go? In we go. Oh, there's our ghost friend again. That's so trippy. All right, let's see what you have to say. Did this character have an actual name? Those who stole our sacred geometry have forgotten their true selves. Cursed to walk these monuments, are they? Okay, so we're cursed. Foolish princess, have you forgotten too? Okay, so we definitely are a thief. <laughs> Confirmed. See, it's such, like, minimal storytelling, and I'm a fan of that. It's not overly complex. Okay. Whoa. There's a lot to this one, huh? Okay. Well, let's walk here. So we can go here. We can do this way. So we can go here. I can't imagine trying to come up with, like, true-false code for this game. I'm not a coder, but, like, I imagine trying to tell the computer what's a right and what's a wrong, and what's, like, what needs to be the same, would be very difficult. Okay, let's go down, hit this button. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. Interesting. So can we just rotate this bad boy? Boom. This one was much easier than the first one we did. We go. Right. How long we got? Oh, it's so tempting. You know what? I'm gonna do one more. I know I probably shouldn't, but I just love this game so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more. One more. I know I'll probably keep telling myself that. I'm just gonna have to hope that it's not uh, super difficult and won't stump me super super hard. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. Chapter eight, the box, in which there lie strange delights. Interesting. Oh. This game is too good for its own. It's too good. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. Let him step off, lower this. I kind of like this aspect of like activating stuff using stuff that's already going on. 
it's kind of interesting. Like, when your protagonist isn't even on screen, you know that you need to be doing something. What did that do? Okay. Well, let's lift you up even higher, maybe? Oh. Oh, I see. No way there's a different puzzle for each of these. That's so cool. Wait a minute. There you are, Ida. Is this a secret? Or does that spit you out here? It does. What happens if we walk through here? That's another button. Here, let's go back through to the other side. This is such a cool idea for a level. Okay. And you're back over here now. We should just be able to go here. Step through here. Okay. I think she should be over here now. There you are. Okay. Oh. Step on it again. And boom. That's so cool! That's so cool! I love this game so much. Just like sheer whimsy, but in a style that's super cool. Okay, so where... Oh, hold on. Wow! This game, like, oh, it's just so good. All right, I will step on button. I will press, I'll press button. Okay, next button. We should just have a straight shot there, not too difficult. I like the patternings of this. It looks like old, old world architecture. go. Is that going to spit us out up there? No? Ooh. Ooh. Dude, I'd love to, like, build, like, a Lego version of some of these levels. Like, isometrically, like, rotating it to the side. I feel like you could have some fun with that. Okay. Should be able to get there. I love this so much. It's so cool. Okay. Okay, now I can get to this one. This game is too good for its own good, man. Too good for its own good. Okay. I think we can do a little ramp walk. <sighs> this game is so good. And is that going to spit me out? Is everything folding back up? So cool. They went with like a, a music box aesthetic almost. That's so cool. How it... It's like a Bakugan or a Transformer. Just flips back up. All right. Nice and simple. All right. We, we didn't take very long with that with that uh, level at all. We, we got there. And we returned this small 3D shape. So clearly we're doing something right. All right. Let's complete. Okay. As much as I want to keep going with this, I know I need to just... Just calm down and save more levels for later on. Um, I am loving this game. And so there are actually two of them in this series. And besides obviously finishing Monument Valley, there's a portal game that I want to play that I think is only going to take me between like 30 to 45 minutes to complete. I don't know if I'm going to make that two episodes or one. I'm still just sort of figuring out what my schedule for this year is going to look like gaming wise like what games i want to 
put in more time with for like an extended series versus like a limited series. I'm trying to figure all that out, but I'm also trying to like not stress so much about like uploading videos in a particular order. I just want to get footage where I can, when I can, and release the episodes whenever possible. I figure if I'm playing at least two games kind of at the same time, if you're not into one, hopefully you'll be into the other. But I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.